Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to add banner ads to your Unity game or app in under 5 minutes. If you haven't done it before, there are a couple of steps that can cause you some issues, so I'm going to cover those off and then I'll show you how to apply the code. First, find the package manager, which in Unity 2018 is under the window menu. And once it opens up, make sure that you have the advertisement or ads package installed. We can see here that I have version 2.0.8 installed, and this is one of the first areas where things can get a bit confusing. Because Unity only introduced banner ads in 2019, you're going to need to use a newer version of the ads package to get banner support in the code. I tried 3.4.7, which at the time of making this video was the latest version, and I got a couple of errors, so I switched out to another version. I think any other 3.4.x version should work just fine. Select the version that you want and then click the Update To button that's next to it. Be a little patient once you start this process because it can take a bit of time for Unity to get you updated. While we're waiting for this to finish, make sure you know where you've docked Unity services because that's where we're heading next. In Unity 2018.4, you can find services under the window general menu and I'm sure it'll be hiding around there somewhere in other versions as well. Once you've opened up services, you're going to want to make sure that both analytics and ads are enabled. And this will create a space for your project in the cloud on the Unity dashboard. If you're not familiar with the Unity dashboard, click on ads and you'll see a button that'll take you to your dashboard for your app once pressed. This is the dashboard for my app. And on it, we can see the game IDs that Unity has assigned my app for both the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store as well as my current ad types or placements that I have available for my app. So what we're going to do is click on the Add Placement button at the top. I'm going to select the Banner Placement from the menu, and I'll just call this Banner Ad. Hit the Create Placement button, and this will effectively enable banner advertising for our project. Now onto the fun stuff. Back in Unity, I'm going to create a new c -sharp script, and I'll just call it Banner Ad. And while we wait for Visual Studio to open up, I'm going to head over to the Unity Ads Integration Guide. And for easy reference, I'll include a link to this guide in the description of this video. Towards the bottom of this page, we'll find a script which is about 95% ready for us to use. So I'm going to simply copy this code directly from the page and then head back into Visual Studio and paste it. Now in typical Unity style, they haven't really told us what we need to change in this code. There are two variables here called game ID and placement ID. If we head back to the dashboard, I'm going to go ahead and copy the game ID for the Google Play Store because this is where I'll be publishing my app. And remember that we named our placement ad already and we called it banner ad. So the placement ID variable is going to be replaced with the name that I gave to my placement being banner ad. Next I'm going to remove the test mode bool because I've actually already tested this code and I don't want to have this there for my production update. Back in Uni, we're going to create an empty game object to hold our code and I'll just call this banner object. Then I'm going to drag and drop my banner ad script onto my newly created game object and I can see that it isn't allowing me to do that and instead it's throwing up an error. And this is because we've been pretty lazy and just copying and pasting code and what we've done is we've forgotten to replace the provided class name with the name we gave our script. So I'll just update that now. With that sorted, I can apply the script onto my banner ad object and with no issues I'm also going to go ahead and create a prefab and put this into my prefabs folder. Let's give it a test and see how it looks. Okay, even though banner ads are supposed to default to bottom center according to the documentation, it looks like ours is staying center top for some reason. So back in the ads integration guide, thankfully there's a line of code here that'll help us to stipulate the position we want our banner ad to be set at. So I'm going to take this code and pop it into my script and then I'm just going to update it to be bottom center. And we'll test this again. Great. We can see that our banner ad is now appearing where we want it to. And that's it. Job done. Our app now has banner ads. So that's where we'll leave it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing if you haven't already done so. If there are any other Unity tips and tricks you'd like me to tackle, drop a comment below. I respond to most of them. Until next time, bye for now.